Hello. Um, we're going to be doing our April calendar, but uh, it's a little bit late, but um, not too late, I hope. So this is what it's going to look like. And you will need a stamp 446. I'm late by Olga from All and Create. You will need the background stamp, which is number 82. And that's also by Olga, and it's called Time Capsule. Um, this um, stamp as well, stamp set, which is stamp set 365. Sorry, 367, I can't read numbers. And that's by Olga from All and Create Take Flight. And we're using this one here, which is a long background stamp that I've used. So this was the stamp that I used uh, last time for the um, March calendar. You will also need for the background this stencil, which is number 87. I've said it properly this time, totally dotty. And that's by Autour de Moi. That's by Abs from All and Create. Um, you will also need uh, the Snippet Alphabet, number 456, and that's by Tracy Evans, Snippet Alphabet, and that was to do the time here. Um, I inherited a stamp set um, once <laughs> for that had Hello Spring on it, as well as lots of other bits and pieces, so I've used that, but you can use any other words that you would like. As you can see in the background, we've got grey uh, for the uh, stencil, the totally dotty stencil. And that was done with graphite and the, um, I can find it, there it is, my um, brayer. So I put that onto a gel plate. So you'll need that as well. Um, I think I showed you the gel plate. The colours I used was uh, Gathered Twigs, which is a Distress Oxide. And that was for the background. Uh, you can see the clocks. I also used Acorn. And that was to do the time in first and second generation. And I also used... Can't find it there it is. I also used Shady Lane and that was for the spring here and in second generation sort of like dotted about. And for Mr Rabbit there I used uh, Lime Punch and Pine Elements inks and you can use Olive as well to add a bit of dimension and shading. And for his waistcoat I used Mermaid and Bermuda and for his uh, cravat here and pocket handkerchief I used Sahara and Sundance and they are also Elements inks. I use Paprika as well which is an Element ink I can just here um, and that was for his umbrella and for his buttons and I used a B pencil just so I could then do the shading on his fur and in his eyeglass just to make it a little bit more realistic if you can get a rabbit with a waistcoat being realistic anyway so let's get started Hello, it's Lisa again. I'm um, just going to add to our calendar. I'm a little bit late because it's April already, the second. Um, but we'll go through what we did before. So I did the January Plant Your Dreams. February we discovered moments. And March we did bloom and grow. So thinking of the plants under the ground all getting ready to bloom. And this month we are going to do 
April's a little bit late as I said but um, we will do that and see how we get on and hopefully next time I will do it on time so okay so we're going to be using uh, my jelly plate so gel plate is um, something that you can print on it's quite squishy and jelly like uh, so it's sort of like I've put it on a an acrylic block an A4 acrylic block I've got an A4 gel plate and it's quite squishy it's perfect for doing printing so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to use a brayer so this is a brayer I've used it before and I'm going to do some elements graphite okay so I'm just going to put some on my brayer like so and then add it to my gel plate so I'm going to add it all over well it's just so it will cover the card that I'm using which is this one which I've already uh, prepared so I'm just going to go over that like so just so it looks lovely and I'm going to get a wet wipe which of course I am really prepared for to clean my brayer off so there's a lot of ink that is coming off my brayer okay and I'm going to use my cloth and put those back in so don't dry out I'm going to use my cloth and wipe all that off okay dry it off put that to one side okay I've got a stencil here which are circles so this is a circle stencil from all and create number 87 and that's totally dotty by abs or autour de moi so I'm going to put it on like so and what I'm going to do is get a piece of card to print, take a print from it. Now it's because I want, what I want left behind is the rest of the stencil so I'm just going to put that on like that and pull it off and as you can see that will be a background for something else that I'm going to do so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use our clocks so I'm going to think it's springtime I'm going to take that off and I'm going to leave it to one side now I will spray it with water and then make another print from it I don't know if you can see you probably can actually if I leave it down there you can probably see we've got some circles there which will make the background so like I said we've got the time capsule here and that is designed by Olga from All and Create so I'm going to use a distress oxide gathered twigs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wipe that all over just wipe it all over the stamp to just cover it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let me think that's going that way around so I'm going to turn that so that the clocks are the right way round for when I want to use it so I'm going to do it that way round and I'm going to just push it onto the gel plate make sure that I flex it and I don't know if you can see but it's a faint print that's come out so we shall do it again I'm going to do it next to it like that and do that again so make sure it comes up and flex it 
and then I'm going to do it again. And I'm not going to waste any of it because even though this is bigger than my piece of paper, I'm going to put the background back on and make sure that I've printed onto it. So let me find the lid. I'm going to move this to one side just for a second and bring back, where did I put my piece of paper? Under there. I'm going to bring this back and just stamp onto it. Just keep stamping until I run out of ink and that will make another background for me to use at another time. Okay, so it's got fainter and fainter. That's fine because it's only going to be a background. So I'm going to make sure that I clean things off as I go and dry it and put that to one side. Okay, so we have the gel plate which I did put, I believe, is it that way around. Let's have a look. Okay, yep, so. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Knew I shouldn't have taken it off. Right. So it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the middle like that. Just make sure you can see it. And press. And then I will take a print and let's see what we have. And we have this looks absolutely splendid. So we have it that way around, but it doesn't really matter which way round the clocks go or the numbers go. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take this background that I did earlier. Uh, if I can find the other one. No, that's okay. I'll just do this background. Put it on. And we'll see what we get with the rest of it. And then we can put it to one side. Make sure that we've got... Okay, so... Bit of a messed up background. That's fine. We'll put that to one side. And I will also clean that a little bit later. Right, so... What I would like to do now... On the stamp, on the background is to see which way round I want it. Hmm, I think I think I might have it that way round. So what I the reason I did clocks is because I want to um, stamp with him. Now this is I'm Late by Olga and All and Create number four four six. So I wanted to do him because it's April, it's Easter, and I just want to sort of like keep things a bit more traditional at times when I'm doing my stamping um, for my calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that so it's not in the way, otherwise I'll drop something on it. And I'm going to give the uh, rabbit a really good inking up just to make sure that it's really really well covered and moving this back in I'm going to put him about here now I want his jacket hanging off so he looks quite 3d when we or when I make him and cut him out because what we're going to do is we're going to print him onto another piece of card so I can paint him there we go so he looks absolutely splendid there in the corner so I'm just going to put that to one side ink him up again and then just pop him down on 
for this spare piece of card that I have. It's not very clean card, but I'm going to be painting him. There we go, on here. So the idea is, is that when you print uh, or stamp something on here, you can see the background all through his coat, all through his ears. So it doesn't look brilliant. Um, it can colour him on there, but it's always better, I find, that if you print it out or stamp it out again, and then we can colour him. So I'm just going to put him to one side uh, to dry while I finish the background. So what I'm going to do with this is I want to do some extra stamping in the background. So I'm going to use this really, really long stamp here the numbers and this is take flight also by olga all and create number three six seven so i'm going to use that but i'm not going to use it um on the block i'm just going to use it with my fingers and i'm going to use it with uh let me see gathered twigs again Let's just pop that to one side. And all I'm going to do is just pop it in like that with my fingers and then stamp it directly on. I'm going to do this bit and stamp it directly on so it makes a bit of a background. Number six as well. Let's put that and stamp that on here so it just makes the background look a little bit more interesting and it means that the rest of this background sort of like disappears a little bit so i'm just going to take some random parts and stamp them on just so it just adds a little bit more interest and like I say just pops the rest of it into the background I'm not worried that there are bits and pieces I quite like that star I'm not worried that there's bits missing out of this six here for instance I quite like that star so I'm going to put it quite randomly there we go let's just have one there some of it might get covered up Okay, so put that here and get my wet wipe and make sure that I've cleaned it off from the brown and use my draft cloth to dry it and pop it back. I oh, will tidy up in a minute if you could see my craft room. You'd be quite shocked at the moment um, with what it looks like. So what we've got at the moment is our rabbit. This one's drying to one side and we've got a big empty space here. So I'm going to fill that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. This is Snippet Alphabet by Tracy Evans, number 456. So I keep them in these little pockets just so that I can um, keep them safe. So I would like to put uh, time. It's a very timed theme. So I'm going to uh, uh, choose the T and put it on my small block. And I'm going to ink up in... Uh, Acorn versus Frank Claire. So I'm going to make sure I ink up and I'm going to do second generation. So that means you just stamp it off slightly and then stamp it on. I'm also going to do one in first generation as well. But I'm going to go down here. Oop, like so. So I've got one in first generation and in second generation. So I need the I. This is where I don't want to spell it wrong. I. 
Okay, so I'm going to have the first generation there. Ink it up again. I know it seems a waste, but you only slightly take it off. And one there. And then I need an M. So, oops. Let's get that on a little bit straighter. There we go. M. Pop that on. Oh, we were going to do it like that, weren't we? There we go. Make sure that doesn't matter if it's not printed out properly. It's fine. It's not going to be the focal point. And I don't really want that straight either. And I need an E. T-I-M-E. Time. Of which we think we've got plenty. And the E here. And then a second generation E. Up here. Like so. Okay. And let's just pop that to one side as well. There we go. So, at the moment, that's what we have. Okay. So, I'm taking now, because it is obviously um, spring, I'm taking uh, this stamp set. It's got quite a few bits and pieces on it. Happy birthday. I'm thinking of you. And it's got a Hello Spring here. I don't know where I got it from. It was just one of those things that um, I inherited at some point. So I've put my Hello Spring here on a block. Now I don't really want the Hello bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that slightly and I'm going to get some tape. And you can see that I've had a practice with this, so I'm going to put it this side to cover up the Hello. And I'm going to take now Shady Lane first of Anne Claire and I'm going to ink up the word spring then I'm going to take the tape away there we go onto one side and I'm going to just stamp it here so we've got the word spring now it looks a bit random so then what I'm going to do is I don't mind now doing hello spring because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and use it as a second generation. Oh, that didn't work very well. No mind. So it's because I pressed too hard first. Second. First. Second, so I'm trying to make sure that it's straight. It looks a bit busy at the moment. So if I can go over that one, that's better. Oop. And then do the next one. Do that off and then on. So you can see we've got springtime and we've got it bit chaotic but that's how I like it at the moment just to make sure that it's all um, spring-like things popping up all over the place so let's have a look at him so I printed him off here so I'm going to put him to one uh, that to one side to dry and then we're going to have a go at painting so I've got my paintbrush in my water and I'm going to start painting with the elements so I've got a uh, pine here um, actually I might choose if I can find it where is it here we go so lime punch I might choose lime punch actually and pop that down here and add a little bit of water to it like that put 
just a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to paint his jacket. I'm going to paint it all with lime punch. I'm not being very careful, but there we go. Paint all of his jacket. And then I'm going to come in a little with something a little bit darker in a minute. There we go. There's his jacket in lime punch. Okay. And I'm going to wipe that up and then dry it off. Fab. So now I need a little bit darker, so I'm using the Elements Pine. Now you can get these from Lavinia Stamps. If you just search for Lavinia Stamps website, you'll be able to find it. I've got 18 colours now, I believe, something like that. So lots of different colours. So now I'm going to have a look at this stamp and see where the dark part parts are to the jacket which you can see because it's all been done for you now we have a dark bit under the collar let me have a look I'm going to add a little bit more so it's not too watery there we go that's better and making sure that the dark parts are where the shade is. Now a lot of that, like I say, is done for you on the stamp, so I'm just going to follow that. And on this bit here, just under the collar, I go down, maybe at the bottom of the jacket and round the pocket like that. Okay, so done that bit. I'm going to wipe that ink up like so, and then we're going to put some Sundance. I'll put some of that down, wet my brush, there we go, and I'm going to paint his little cravat here with the Sundance and his pocket handkerchief. There we go, okay, wipe that off. And then where I'd like it darker, I'm going to come in with Sahara, pop a little bit down, and I'm not adding any water except what was vaguely on my brush, so that I can now do it a lot darker at the bottom. You might not be able to see the shade, I might just do it. Uh, so you can see that it's a little bit more dark here and underneath but I'm not being very careful with it at the moment just to show you really how to do it okay there we go right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some blue I think so I have some Bermuda, it's a sort of greeny blue. Um, pop that down and wet it, sort of greeny grey blue. And I'm going to paint his waistcoat. So I'm not too worried about where I'm putting this. There we go, 
colours so it's sort of like a greeny grey really nice colour, I like this colour actually okay uh, I think that's it for that and I'm going to also use some mermaid and that will be to just do the shading so that's also greeny blue but it's quite uh, a lot different let me go a little bit let's have a look see if that works okay there we go so just where the shading is under his umbrella at the bottom where it would be naturally shady let's do a bit down there again there we go And I really want to leave this um, white <clears throat> and the white rabbit white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some graphite and paint a little bit on his hat. Up here, just go all over like so. go and I'm also going to paint in grey just around his watch around his lovely eyeglass so there we go and like that just being a bit more careful there And here, there we go. I think that's probably about it for that. There we are. Just grab that. Okay, so now he looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil. This is a B pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the edge off the white. So with his eyeglass, I'm just going to sort of like really lightly pencil in his eyeglass and around the shady bits. So where he would naturally be shady, sort of like a light grey. There we go. Stubbing with my finger around his neck, little bits of his fur, there we go, around the bottom, you might not be able to see this, but I'll lift it up in a minute, uh, like I say I'm not doing it very carefully, there we go, around his glasses, I'm also going to do it sort of like round his hand where it would be a little bit shaded around his cuff and his hand there and his fingers okay just at the end of his collar just there bit on his collar there we go so I hope you can see that where he's shaded so it just takes the starkness off the white okay and what I'd like to do is a pop of colour so I'm going to take the elements paprika pop a little bit down and get some water on my brush this is a nice 
like a russet red and I'm going to do a couple of red buttons and I'm going to do his umbrella in red as well just for that little pop of colour do here as well I'm not going to be too worried I might cut that off uh, so what I might do is on here oh, just put in a little bit of colour like that and where I've gone over let me just wipe that to one side where I've gone over what I'm going to do is with my water pen I'm just going to dab it and dab dab it so it makes it a lot sort of like fade into the background a bit more I have to do that several times because red is quite deep just to make it a little bit pinky there we go it hasn't fully got rid of it but it's it's okay so he will sit like this on the card so I will need to fussy cut him so I did one earlier here so slightly different colour, did the jacket slightly darker so I did some blue on his hat um, I did the pocket watch brown instead so I'm going to pop him here like that so let me get my glue and I'm going to just sort of like put some wet glue on him like that you see the state of my hands now okay and then there we go so let's pop him down I didn't put glue right to the end of his jacket and as you can see what I did was I cut off his umbrella I cut off his chain, didn't cut that out. It was mainly so that I could not have to fussy cut absolutely everything. So let's press that down. And you can see that his jacket is just sort of like slightly sticking off, sticking out. And it's off the edge of the card. There we go. Um, let's get the lovely calendar, move some of this stuff out of the way and we shall use oh, April just was there, just where I needed it and he will go on here like that so let's glue him down so it's nice and simple just sort of like using the jelly plate for a background just so you can see what that's like um, and a little bit sort of like grungy and you know no sort of like fuss it looks busy but I quite like that in the background I like the spring spring time time for spring and it just completely <coughs> up to you what you do and how you do it so there we go so let's have a look show you again we've got January which was very plain and simple if you have a look at my other videos you'll see how to do that one um, we've got February which is the fairy and that was using one of the acrylic blocks um, to do a nice background uh, this was March so this showed you how to do blending and then how to get the bleached out spots and also some embossing so you, as you can see that that's really quite shiny and you can see that it's sort of like a plasticky feel it's just it's really lovely really textured 
and then we've got April which again is different so it's got the background it's got the white rabbit in the foreground springtime I didn't want to make a typical Easter scene but I think that's a good homage to Easter um, well the Easter rabbit and the springtime sort of part of Easter okay well I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll be well in advance to do May. Okay, take care. Bye.